hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys you can see the error when I log in in my Windows 11 so you can see cursor is moving but there is a black screen if you are getting the same issue this video is for you I will show you step by step how you can troubleshoot this issue from the basic to advanced methods okay so first of all we will analyze why we face this issue so there are only three reasons behind this error the first reason is graphic cards issue if your graphic card has some corruption as well as the driver is not installed properly you can get this issue as well and the second cause is faulty updates or the new update crashes your windows if you got the latest windows and thereafter you are getting this issue okay so this may be the cause this is the second cause of this issue and the third reason is you have installed the incompatible software on your windows 11 which is not supported and it is crashing the issues so you can see i'm getting this kind of issue cursor is moving but there is a black screen okay so guys first of all we need to reset our graphic cards driver here sometime if your window is sleep and graphic card is gone to sleep okay you can reset the graphic card driver so guys in order to reset your graphic cards driver you need to press control okay shift control win logon and b button like this okay b button this is it's not resolved now so we can move to the further steps so you need to press Control alt delete button together on your keyboard and once you press Control alt delete button you will get this options okay you need to go to the run new task okay this option run new task and you need to type here explorer.exe okay this will refresh all the windows explorer setting you need to tick this option create the starts with the administrative playlist click on ok okay still issue again try the same command three times explorer dot exe and hit ok click this option and third time again press the same command dot exe and see if the issue is solved or not now you can see in my case the issue is still not resolved so what you need to do is you need to again press this option run new task and you need to type here cmd.exe .exe and click on ok now this command prompt will open you need to type here shutdown space slash s space slash t space 0 and you need to hit enter ok or you can press here the r key button r means restart and s means shut down ok so let me restart my laptop and then i will show you if the issue is solved or not so hit enter and your system will be gently restarted or shut down can see the system is restarted now and let me check if the issue is solved or not okay you can see cursor is moving but still I have the issue so we can go to the advanced method in the registry editor we need to make sure that the shell value is explorer.exe so you need to again control alt delete button together if control alt delete is not working on your windows and you are not able to see the screen so I will show you to resolve the issue in a next method okay so click on this option and click on run new task okay type the res, res edit res edit and create this task with the administratives click on ok now registry editor will open here you need to double click on H key local machine and double click on software and 
and double click on Microsoft this option ok once you double click on Microsoft you need to look for Windows NT in a W series just scroll it down this option double click it and double click on current version and you need to scroll down and look for win logo on this option double click on it and on the right hand side look for shell this option just double click it and make sure its value is explorer.exe like this if not you can write it explorer.exe ok and hit ok and once you hit ok close this and also close this and again you need to restart your system so again this run this task and open the cmd dot exe ok and type the same command which I have already given you R space T space and hit enter ok once you hit enter it should fix your issue so in my case the explorer dot exe is already there so I don't need to restart my system in this case so if control alt delete is not working and you are not able to access your PCs like this so so if nothing is working on your windows you can see in my laptop it's not working anything is not working so I need to forcefully shut down my system two to three times so I will show you in order to access the advanced screen so that we can troubleshoot the methods from there ok so let me shut down my system forcefully so in order to shut down your system again you need to press control alt delete button together control alt like this and delete button ok once you press control alt delete button go to 3 here and shut down your system so now we go to the advanced options in order to access the advanced screen options so we need to again power it on hope you can see it ok this is the power key just turn it on and once the window loads you need to hold the power key ok you can see here and just shut it down just hold the power key for almost 10 seconds ok now release it and again try the same and let's load the windows now your window is loading again shut it down ok now release the power key and again turn it on now you will see escape now just release it and if you see diagnosing your PC or preparing you can see just leave do not do anything now we are going to access the recovery environment so that we can troubleshoot the issue from there you will see diagnosing your PC just wait and you can follow these steps in window 11, 10 as well as the 8 I am using here the windows 11 now here is the screen which we wanted just click on advanced options and click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and click on system restore if you made any system restore point on your windows so this is also going to fix your issue 
just click select that and click on next and you will see here the date wise okay click on next and click on finish and click on yes option and your system is going to restore so make sure you can choose the option date wise here you need to select the date when your system is working fine and there was no issue with that okay click on next and click on finish and click on yes option and your system is going to restore so let me try the restore point okay click on system restore click on yes option and now you will see my system is going to restore so i'm pausing the video this might take 20 to 25 minutes so let's wait for some time and i will show you once the restore is done on your windows your data is safe don't worry your data is safe and your issue will be resolved with this step if you don't have the system restore i will show you next step to resolve this issue as well so let's wait for some time so make sure you plug in the charger now you will see finalizing file restore now you will see finishing restore now it's being finished now now you can see system restore completed successfully click on restart option here is the button it is still like blue screen let's wait for some time it might get stuck you can see it's booted So let me sign in and then I will see that. Let me put the password. Now you can see the issue has been resolved now and you will see system restored completed. Just click on close. Okay. And in my case, the system restore has fixed my issue. If your issue is still not fixed, you can go to again same option or you can press the shift key and then click on restart option. If you are still not able to boot your windows, you need to again repeat the same process. Shut down your system two to three times or you can press the shift key and then click on restart and you will get the advanced screen. Click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options and this time click on startup setting and click on restart we are going to open our window in a safe mode and we will perform the some steps from there and we need to enable the safe mode so in order to enable the safe mode press F4 on your keyboard this and we are going into the safe mode now and we will uninstall the updates as well as the faulty software and also check the graphic cards driver please wait let me log in now this is the safe mode open the control panel from the windows search tap their control and open the control panel this option and if you are getting this option like category wise select that as a large icons and go to programs and features 
and first of all uninstall the software which is you have recently installed click on this option install on okay make sure you select the top from and you can choose that software like this and click on uninstall like this click on uninstall and uninstall that software which is causing the issue okay if still not working once you uninstall that software just restart it normally from here and check if your issue is solved or not if still not solved again access the same screen and go to view install updates and you will see here two updates I'm getting here just uninstall that okay click on uninstall and uninstall one by one both and thereafter just restart your system from here once the uninstall is done but in my case the issue has been already resolved and you can also go to the device manager and uninstall the graphic drivers from there and then after restart your system your window will automatically detect the graphic drivers for you so guys hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is still not fixed you can reinstall the fresh window or check your hardware okay so hope your issue is fixed now if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech